Hi guys, welcome back to a bright and breezy Castleton. We arrived yesterday afternoon, uh, it was lovely and sunny and then all of a sudden the weather changed. Uh, we had hailstone, wind, rain, then last night we had thunder, lightning, hailstone, shaking the van all over and no, it was rocking but it wasn't rocking for them sort of reasons, you mucky lot. Uh, this is where we parked. We parked on the top of Old Man Tor Road, which is also known as the Broken Road. And quite a lot of people do come here uh, camping with their motorhomes and camper vans. We had a few stay last night, as you can see just up here. Uh, there you've got Mam Tor in the background. And Castleton has four caverns. I'm not going to name them because I will get them wrong. There is a cavern just up the road from here. And then, if I don't slip, there's also a cavern just down there, halfway up the hill. And then there's one at the bottom of Winnett's Pass. And then there's another one in Castleton. So we're going to take you for a little walk around Castleton and we'll show you where the caverns are. And we will put, I will put a little bit of footage in of the storm last night uh, at some point. So you, you will get to see it, how bad it was. But my God, it's breezy. So just before we leave Castleton, we are going to do what every other van lifer does and we're going to leave a sticker on this pole. So if you see it, take a picture, send it to us and it just fits nicely and we'll put it on as Facebook and as Instagram. But make sure you get a picture of yourself at the side of it. So now, we're off to Castleton. Come with us. So we are walking down into Castleton, guys. We'll not film all the walk because it's nothing but brick walls, as you can see. There's a castle up there. Uh, and once we get back into Castleton, we will film more and show you around. Outdoor centre if you forgot your walking boots and bits. You might get some more gloves in there as soon as you ruined yours when you slipped last night. I slipped on some mud because he sent me out in a storm with Buddy because he was too cold and he was scared at lightning <laughs> and thunder. <laughs> I offered to take him and you said no. Who do you believe? Me or Neil? little river running through and the Blue John custom jewellery shop Peak District National Park Visitor Centre I have a fridge bag, have you got a fridge bag? Yeah, look at that one. Oh. oh, you did, you went in there. There's a cafe here. <laughs> I'm not taking them. Neil, been here. That's Visitor Centre little stream running through which I'll take you to but we need to call off to these loos now and there's no way I'm attacking you into loo with me
No, I hadn't dribbled. Billy's dribbled. Oh, buddy! So at the back of us is the visitor centre and just across the road is this lovely little stream. Are you going in, buddy? Buddy? Yeah. Look up here, look. How nice does that look? Oh, come on. Are you going come in, on. bud? Come on. Another little cafe. Quite a few of these little cafes knotted about. Doggy ice cream. Buddy. Ah. Jewelry shop. So we uh, Take you up here, and up here there's another cavern. Can't remember what they call it, but it's also known as the Devil's Ass. It is, isn't it? Ducklings don't mix. Please keep dogs on leads. A little shop. It is little as well. Emporium. That's that bike <laughs> <laughs> That's how long it takes you to review out. And Dolly's tea room. You're walking up to it? Yeah. So as you can see, we're just coming round now to the Peak Cavern, also known as the Devil's Arse. It does, it, once you get round this corner, it goes really icy. And the further you go up, it gets colder. The further you go up Devil's Arse, it gets colder. <laughs> I'd have thought Devil had been warm. Well. It's bloody cold. Oh, this is the one that they do events. Sunsets in the cave. And I think, no, they're all here. And these are things that's going to be happening. So the next one is Friday, 5th of July, and it's Queen. Would you walk up here in dark? <laughs> Would I walk up here? Yeah. No, you'd probably send me up first. Yeah, I'll send you up see if I say. See if I come back down. Somewhere they call it the devil's arse. Well, I don't. 
they should call it Shell's arse because it looks about as big. Really? <laughs> no, to, not to rename it Shell's arse. If you never see Neil on another vlog, you know why. It's massive, isn't it? Your ass. My ass is not massive. Yeah. Walking adult 2150. What? That's 40, 43 quid. 43 quid. You tell Neil's from. Uh... We, don't, we don't want to buy shares in it, we just want to go up around. Come on, buddy. Buddy, come on. Come on. So that's the devil's arse. Last time we came, we came to this little fish and chip shop. Prices were really reasonable. Portion sizes were great. But we left half hours. Just our opinion. They were really soggy, not very nice. And I think that's it. Is that that the only fish and chip shop there is? Oh, the sun's come out now, look. Yeah. Another little shop. St Edmund's Church. Oh, it's locked off. I don't think you can go in it. Oh, you can. And then it finishes at the church with. Would you walk round here at night? Yeah, why not? Buddy, come on, come here. Is it all? No. Specialist contractors working. He wants a drink. Do you know what that was for, don't you? When people get married, bride runs out and they're just second thoughts. <laughs> it's not a dungeon. <laughs> what would that be, love? Pub stop then. He is definitely not going to be alive if it carries on. Some minutes have got somewhere out. Yeah, and now it's well, it's now it's starting to rain. Starting to rain. Tell you, when you come to Peak District, you can get three lots of different weather in one day. It was sunny not two minutes ago and quite warm. 
now it's starting to rain. There's loads of tea rooms here, isn't there? Yeah. And just round this corner, there's some more public toilets. shop post office groceries produce wines beers cards gifts and ice cream and a couple more pubs down there Lovely little cottages. Little bakery shop that does freshly made sandwiches. Peak Hotel. No. Public toilets. I might dip across just to see how much these sandwiches are. Ooh, fudge. Freshly baked bread. Ooh, lovely cakes. So we're back where we started, outside of the little stream, next to the visitor centre. And that was our quick little tour of Castleton. Hope you liked it. And we're now heading back to the van to find us next park up where we're going to be staying tonight on us last night before heading back home and back to work, unfortunately. So we'll see you when we get to his next destination. So we've arrived at tonight's park up and it's called the Navigation Inn at Buxworth and it's right on the canal. So we'll take you for a little walk down. We did find this site on search for sites. It is a paid car park, but they do say ring ahead to see if you are allowed to stay in the pub overnight, which we did. And they said, yes, not a problem. Just come into the bar, uh, give your registration and you park for free overnight. And all they say is you just go in the pub and you can have something to eat, the Dubai meals or just have a few drinks, which I think we might be doing later on. So this canal is called Bugsworth Basin, where we're staying. Now, you can park here th on this side through day, but it's no overnight. And there is some toilets and Elson Point, which I'll show you when we get further down. And it did transport limestone on this canal. And for once, the sun is actually out. It's glorious. Look at how 
more boats moored up here. That used to be a line shed. What did? Oh, did it? The means of the lime shed. Oh yeah, because the the, act of, the limestone had to be stored, so it didn't get damp. Yeah, and I do have a fact about this place. And I'm going to cheat because I can't remember it all. Let me tell them these facts first. So, Bugsworth Basin was a scene of a murder where John Cotton murdered his wife, Hannah, in October 1898 and he murdered her on a canal barge in a cabin, which he were later arrested and took them to Derby, where he was later hanged for his crime at a Derby jail. And the executor was Billington of Bolton. And he were hanged in December of that year. And it said, that John Cotton was the last person to be hanged at the Bolton jail. How's that for a bit of fact? Oh, what's this? Wait a minute. It's a miniature canal. In the limelight. A total of 19 lime links were built around Bugsworth Canal Basin during its lifetime. And this is a little replica of it. Where are we then? I think we're somewhere oh, that's up Oh, slime here. shed. We've just come all that bridge and we've come across here. Yeah, well, wait a minute. And that's navigation in. Yeah, navigation in the crossroad. So that's where we're staying. The navigation in. That's the upper basin, which we can see. Yeah, I'm about to cross from that. And then we've just walked down here and along this bit. One of the old trucks that used to fetch the limestone, well, carry the limestone off the boats onto trucks. This wagon is de dedicated to the memory of Dave Hannon, 1949 to 2021. So this is this is what the transported. Oh, look at that black cloud! I think we'll go up and over this bridge. <laughs> The weather does quickly change in the Peak District. Are you up here? Of course I'll get up here, darling. Of course I'll get up here. No, I'm waiting for you to... Oh, it is a bit steep. <laughs> How the hell? My neck. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a sign here saying take extra care. I bet it's just as uh, I bet it's just as bad going down the other side. <laughs> Is it? Oh god. Nice little bridge this. Very cobbly.
when you come over to the other side this is where toilets are and Elson Point is oh blummy neck oh, there's no take care on this one oh and I can feel a spot of rain It's really nice round here. Some geese. There's a water point. Herb garden. And here comes that rain. And here comes the rain. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Well, buddy, come this way. I've not fetched his cloth. A little library. Oh, how good's that? And Bugsworth Hotel. Question of chemistry. Are we heading back before we, we are there? gonna head back. Oh, Feel free to pick some leaves for your dinner in this herb garden. Not many herbs yeah. growing. Some bins at back. Ooh, strawberries, but they're not quite out yet. Like I said, there is an Elson point here. Just there, and a the disabled toilet. And that cloud's getting darker. Yeah, <laughs> My goodness me, it's absolutely pelting it down. <laughs> There's loads of potholes. Oh, I can't believe this. We decided to come out and fish you on a nice little walk in the sun. Told you the weather changes in the peat district very quickly. But at least it's not hailstoning like it was yesterday. Oh, don't say that. Not a bit next thing. <laughs> Followed by thunder and lightning. Oh. You're just right corner, aren't you? Oh, blummy neck. <laughs> We're bad. Come on, buddy. Come on. So that's this quick little tour of Bugsworth Basin at Booksworth. Bookworth. Not Booksworth. Bookworth. It's not Bookworth. You're saying Bookworth again. It's Booksworth. Booksworth. Oh, this rain's getting faster now. So I think we'll drop Buddy back off at the van. <gasps> Look at it in that puddle. Come on, man. Oh, we're gonna drop Buddy off back at the van, and it's hailstoning now. I told you not to turn out. <laughs> I said don't mention it. And then we're gonna go into a pub for a few few drinks. Come on. Oh my God! Sun, rain, hail. So we'll catch you when we're at pub. Hi guys, 
just a little update from yesterday. We did go into the pub last night. We didn't have anything to eat, but we had a few drinks. We didn't think it was right getting the camera out because there was uh, people sat at the side of us having something to eat and we didn't think it were right getting the camera out and videoing. It did stay up until midnight, which is quite good, but we didn't stay until midnight. We only had a few and then we came back to Reckless and had a few in Reckless. So I hope you've enjoyed our little tour of the Peak District and where we've been and we're going to end this video here and I hope you're going to like, subscribe and ring that bell and we're going to get Reckless home, get him all cleaned up and ready for you to come and join us on our next adventure. So for now it's Bye from the Peak District.